Well, Jordan uh, has always been a very exciting place, but uh, I think uh, at uh, the current uh, time it is even more exciting as we are uh, going to be celebrating the 200th anniversary for the rediscovery of the lost ancient city of Petra. Petra is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it is one of the new seven wonders of the world. Uh, as we are uh, celebrating the 200th anniversary, that means that there are many activities that are going to be taking place throughout the year of 2012. And leading to this time of the celebration, I think it will be exciting. I don't think people want to wait for another 200 years or 100 years to come and visit Petra again. So uh, 2012 is going to be exciting for them. At the same time, while they are here, there are also other exciting things. Lawrence of Arabia, the, the 50th anniversary of the film is coming soon. But that wonderful, magical place that uh, Lawrence of Arabia was filmed and where Lawrence actually lived, which is why the Ram just became uh, as the UNESCO World Heritage Site. announced a few months ago and this uh, uh, again uh, this very important uh, celebration is also coming up and at the same time people are making packages that trace the Lawrence of Arabia experience this will also add to the uh, wonderful time that we can spend in Jordan and of course we should not forget this wonderful place the Dead Sea which is nominated to become one of the new seven wonders of nature and I'm sure that it will become one of the new seven wonders of nature because it is a reality. It is the largest natural spa on earth. So these three large important events are happening and this makes it exciting to add to the many treasures that Jordan have starting from the Aqaba to the wonderful UNESCO sites, to the culture of Jordan, to the food of Jordan, to the people of Jordan, to the weather of Jordan. So whatever the reason is to come before now, there are three huge reasons to add to. Tourism is down in Jordan though, right? Because people are nervous about the Arab Spring and the political turmoil to the north and to the west. Well, uh, tourism is down in Jordan in terms of numbers. Uh, now, uh, uh, we have to be very careful in terms of uh, when we say down. Uh, some packages uh, that used to come to Jordan, especially the packages, were uh, connected with Jordan and other destinations. And maybe that's why it has been impacted. But uh, we have to remind people that uh, uh, troubles are, are here in Jordan today. They are spending, some of them are spending longer time in Jordan. Some of them are enjoying the wonderful sights of Jordan. There is no reason for them to worry one and to come to Jordan. Actually, uh, as we are speaking, uh, people are, are coming throughout the world. Uh, positive sign in, in the first uh, 10 days uh, of uh, the month of uh, September, it shows that uh, travelers from the United States, I'm talking about group travelers from the United States, is up 25%. So that's uh, compared to the last year. So that's a very positive sign for us, and I'm sure that uh, people are recognizing and understanding that uh, the situation is extremely uh, normal in Jordan, and as they're getting bad uh, feedback from their friends who are traveling, or from the tour operators who are sending people to Jordan, or even from the media, uh, you are here with us today, enjoying, and you've been around the country for the last few days. You can, uh, for yourself, explain how the situation is, and as we were talking, you said you had, you had a great time here. Jordan and uh, most of the travelers and visitors who come to uh, Jordan are enjoying not only the sites but also the people of Jordan. Is the U.S. market, North American market, an important source of tourism for Jordan? Uh, North American market is an extremely important market. It is one of the uh, strong source markets. Uh, we believe strongly in the North America market. Uh, we have good, excellent relation with uh, North America. At the same time, uh, the product here is, is exciting for people who come from North America. Uh, it's relatively new for them. Not many of them uh, knew about Jordan uh, until recently. Uh, it is a complete package. If one wants to come for the history and culture, Jordan is basically an open air museum. So wherever you walk, there is a piece of history or culture that reminds you of, of the old days and uh, the different civilizations. If you're coming for religious uh, purposes, Jordan again is part of the Holy Land, and uh, your pilgrimage to the Holy Land cannot be completed without being visiting Jordan. The Bible is your guideline here in Jordan and your guide for, for the wonderful sites. If you talk about uh, uh, the fun and adventure, uh, 
excitement is all around from the adventure and excitement in the Red Sea to uh, the um, uh, canyons of uh, Mujib, the lowest uh, nature reserves on earth, to the desert of uh, Wadi Ram, and of course this wonderful site that we are sitting in, which is the Legion and Wellness, which is the largest natural spa again. I, and I call on your viewers to help us voting for this wonderful place, as it is in reality a place that is uh, magical. Magical in all senses. It is uh, the sense of tranquility that one senses while he's here. And we have not, we should not forget the baptism site where Christianity started, and uh, this is the site where uh, Jesus was baptized. And afterwards, Christianity started. And not far away from it is, uh, of course, Mount Nebo, where, uh, where Moses uh, saw the Holy Land and he's buried around there. So you're talking about a mixture of a product that makes people come for one reason, but get the benefit of experiencing something else within a small geographical destination. So you don't have to spend your time traveling, you spend your time enjoying the product instead. I've been pretty impressed about how relaxed Jordanians are about foreign foreigners in general and different religions. And I think in part, as it's been explained by you to me, that this is an ancient crossroads of travelers that you're used to travelers coming through Jordan. So people coming here can truly feel not worried about feeling strange or foreign, they are welcome. Well, we are proud of, of uh, our uh, Jordanian hospitality. And this is uh, reflected on, on the visitors who come to Jordan. And this is, like you said, it's not, not recent, it is ancient. Jordan has been uh, welcoming uh, many civilizations and people throughout history. And this continues to be the same way. People in Jordan, when they look at uh, foreigners who come to Jordan, they don't, don't look at them as tourists. They look at them as guests. And we use this phrase when we say, the guests are the guests of God. So this is how precious people are. So they look at them as guests to their country. They look at them as guests to their houses. And uh, in, in that sense, they welcome them with uh, open hearts and warm uh, hearts. I'm also impressed by the attention that Jordan is giving to the ecology and the environment. That's, is that an important part of the government's agenda? Uh, well, uh, we have nature reserves uh, since uh, uh, more than 40 years ago. These nature reserves have helped us uh, to create what we call ecotourism, a product that is uh, nature reserves that cater for uh, archaeological sites uh, that people go and visit or even for the environment. We have actually uh, created recently a Ministry of Environment just to make sure that we keep up uh, with the uh, environment and make sure that we, we solve the issues as, as they arise. Uh, we are one of the few countries that have a Minister of Environment. Uh, we uh, do uh, care for this matter and uh, of course uh, this is an issue that we will continue to work hard to improve and to encourage uh, creating ecotourism. Is there going to be anything special at Petra for the 200th anniversary for tourists to see? I know you're talking about a conference and other things. No, it's not a conference. It's going to be actually a whole celebration throughout the year. There will be different activities, different uh, cultural activities, uh, festivals uh, uh, leading up to the uh, 200th uh, anniversary, which is uh, somewhere in uh, the month of August. So it will be a really unique opportunity yes, to visit it's Petra. a unique opportunity. And again, like I said, uh, it is the 200th anniversary. Anniversaries do not come uh, so often. Now it has to wait for another 100 years to come for the next anniversary. So we are sure that people who will come, they will be one, some of the unique people and lucky ones to enjoy Jordan and Petra during this time.